Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to solve a really annoying problem. When your laptop keyboard doesn't work when you first turn it on, but starts working after you restart. This is happening for many users on the latest Windows 11 24H2 update. Don't worry, it's usually easy to fix. Let's go through the steps together. First things first, make sure your system is fully updated. Microsoft often releases fixes for bugs like this. Go to Settings System Updates and click Check for Updates. Install any available updates and restart. Fast startup can cause hardware initialization issues. Let's disable it. Open Control Panel Power Options. Choose what the power buttons do. Click Change Settings that are currently unavailable. Then uncheck Turn on Fast Startup. Save Changes and Restart. Let's make sure your keyboard drivers are up to date. Open Device Manager. Expand Keyboards. Right-click your keyboard device and choose Update Driver. If that doesn't help, uninstall it and let Windows reinstall it after reboot. If the keyboard works in safe mode, there might be a software conflict. Try booting into safe mode via Advanced Startup Options and test the keyboard behavior. Sometimes, the keyboard isn't properly enabled in BIOS. Restart your PC and press F2, F10, or delete to enter BIOS. Look for legacy USB support or built-in keyboard settings and ensure they're enabled. And D, that's it. One of these methods should get your keyboard working from the very first boot. If none of them work, it could be a firmware bug or hardware issue, especially since 24H2 is a new version. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below telling me which fix worked for you. Also, let me know if you need help finding drivers for your specific laptop model. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.